Up here for those of you that have never been to a junkyard, or like this is a pick and pull, actually. I'll give you a little look at what it's like. <laughs> I think the rows that I need are way down there where that car is. <laughs> Anybody need an Infinity G20? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so I'm hoping somebody has at least left headlights on one of these vehicles. So, most people come for more, um, you know, like engine, like part parts, as opposed to headlights. We'll see a lot of headlights on the cars and laying around. Except the car that you need. Crazy. Like some of them will tell what happened. Some of them don't. It gives you like the info on the car, the VIN number, the day that it was brought here. So it kind of gives you an idea of how long it's been sitting. So, but tail lots. A great place to get donuts, actually. I will say that. Of course, a lot of the donuts get used to hold up the cars. But we ended up getting, we had one of our rims on my car was cracked. And so we were going to have it, the rim welded. And it was, we were going to pay like 300 bucks to get it welded. And we came out here and found a car just like ours. It wasn't this location, but it was one of these. And um, found a car just like ours. And we um, got almost a brand new rim with a brand new tire on it. And I think we paid $35. And we were gonna pay 300 to attempt to get the rim welded back together. Because someone hit a curb or something too, too too rough. Another spare. And it was not me. It's a nice cargo net. Okay. Oh, yeah, looky right there. Impala. That's what we're needing, people. Impala. 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 And I can tell you right now, I do not see a lot of headlights. So, okay. I'm going to go because i got to look, guys. So, bye.